I guess it was April already when something incredibly magnificent happened. In the middle of the world being a complete clusterfuck, something wonderful happened. Ted came to visit me. Well, he didn't come to Florida to visit me, but he was here. We got together and he came to my place. He was going to come here, but I had most of my equipment at my office. He, he was actually borrowing a guitar for, for a local gig. So, Ted came to my office, the tone god himself showed up, and it was the most magnificent hour, perhaps, yet. fellow Tone God Warriors, you might notice that my Birdland is looking rather original and vintage again. That's because those wonderful, awesome, incredible, sonic, bombastic, Bob Mizek pickups that I put in here that were signed by Ted, I took them out. And the reason I took them out is, well, I, I found that they were squealy in the guitar. But, uh, he fondled this profusely. And I think he liked it a lot, but he said, uh, as wonderful and awesome as those sonic bombastic Bob Mizek pickups are, he says, get them out and put them in a solid body and put the originals back in here. And I couldn't agree more. I'm, I'm uh, infatuated with it. Ever since I did that, I have a new appreciation for it. They really didn't belong in this guitar. So now I have a dilemma. I don't know what guitar to put them in. I have a few beautiful guitars that need to remain untouchable. This is one of them. I can't mess with my, uh, my 1960 RI, it's perfect. Uh, I have a, actually an Epiphone Les Paul 
uh, that I love. And it's one of those rare out of the box, awesome gems. So I'm not messing with that. So I think I have an excuse to buy another guitar. It's a tangent, a musical tangent orgy of adventurous sonic bombast.